going to be a May favorites video. It's 2016. Last time I did a favorites was, I think, like a year ago. I think you guys deserve this. Promise myself that I will be doing this for you guys this week. So I will do it. By the way, if you guys are wondering, this look is in a tutorial. It's a makeup tutorial inspired by Nikki Tutorials. That might sound a little bit redundant, but you guys get it. That's her name here. But yeah, so I got this smoky eye glamorous makeup on. I was wearing a nude color there, so just so you know, I'm wearing my blue contacts. I'm selling it. Links will be down below where you can get it. And um, yeah, I don't know what else to say, so let's just start it. So in case you guys don't know, I start off with the base eyebrows going down. So the skin base or primer, moisturizer, slash everything that I've been using a lot is my Aveeno Aftershave Lotion. It's kind of like the Nivea Aftershave Balm, but this one is, um, it doesn't smell. And for me, this makes my makeup last longer. Sorry if you can hear like raindrops, it's raining right now. But yeah, I like this better than the Nivea Balm. I'm sorry, don't hate me. But if you are not liking that one, try this one. It works really well. And I think it's about the same price. So for foundation, I've been loving, loving the Bobbi Brown Long Wear Even Finish Foundation with SPF. Guys, when I say I love a foundation, this one, I want to marry this. I want to have babies with this one. I love this one. I used this for Zumba. It's really hard. I used this for Zumba one time. I was zumba -ing for two hours. And it lasted. I sweat, but it lasted. Like, I didn't even have to retouch. I just had to wipe my sweat off. But it was still great. So, if you sweat like an ass, not an, like an ass. If you sweat a lot, that's a better way of putting it, Dina. If you guys sweat a lot, this is for you. It's amazing. Full coverage. It is expensive as crap, but it is worth it. You should go try it. Other foundation that I've been loving is another expensive one because I'm stupid and I like to buy expensive shit that I don't really need. Chanel Aqua Lumiere. No, Vita Lumiere Aqua. I like this when I want a very natural look. It's still giving you that coverage. It's pretty good with combination skin. I'm not sure if it's okay with super oily skin. I have combination skin and this works really really well on me. It gives me like a vibrant glow. That is just amazing. Like whenever I use this, I feel like... I don't know how to express that other than doing that. Then you look at me, I'm like slow mowing. But it gives me that effect. I don't know why, but I feel that way. This one is amazing. Once again, it's expensive, but if you have the money to spare, then go try these two, because it's amazing. So once again, for people who sweat like crap, <laughs> use the L'Oreal True Match for your concealer, because not only that it gives you full coverage, it also secures the makeup. Like it won't really go away. Especially if you set it with a damp beauty blender with your foundation powder, it will stay on forever. And the coverage is amazing. I don't know. I'm just really sold if the makeup lasts, even if I sweat a lot. So this and those foundations, they really stay and amazing coverage. You can never go wrong with L'Oreal True Match Foundation and Concealer. So I'm telling you about for sure. So to set or to powder my foundation and concealer off, I'm using two and I banana luxury powder and at the same time, sometimes when I feel like it, I also switch to my RCMA no color powder. I like these two because it doesn't have a flashback when I use a flash camera on my face, you know, that annoying thing. So I like this because it's yellow toned. It really would neutralize if you have like a really pinkish foundation on. Sometimes I do that, but then I neutralize it with this yellow powder. And then this one naman is for when you like 3D contour your face or like 3D foundation, whatever effect that you do on your face. And you don't want to change the color, but you just want to set it. This is what you should use. And I really like it because, like I said, it doesn't leave off like a white cast. So... This works really, really great. I like this. You should invest in it. It's raining. I'm really sorry, but the video has to go on. Another thing that I use to highlight 
um, my T-zone area and my under eye is this color from Wet n Wild. This is the Contouring Palette. And I bought this when I was in America. I really, really like it because, come on, show through. Show through. Come on. And so this white one, it's really milky and it will really give you like placado highlight as in there. You will see it, the coverage is great. It's kind of like buttery. It's really white though, so I recommend this if you're fair. Because like me being fair, I'm not really that fair, I'm like NC25. But I already have a hard time looking for a really light setting powder for my uh, highlight. So this one works and I don't know, I just really like the coverage. I like that it's buttery. I like that you can only use a little bit, but it already spreads a lot. The raining bothers me. Sorry guys, it's like 3 a.m. 2.43 a.m. and I'm filming this. For my eyebrows, I have been loving my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in Caramel. I really like this um, color because whether I was blonde, brunette, black, or red hair, it matches me. It's so loud. It's raining. The good thing about this is it doesn't dry quickly, so you can really use all of it. Like, half of it is gone and it's not dry still unlike the other gel eyebrow or whatever I had a MAC one and it's really dry and I barely use it I only use like one third of it so this one is amazing everybody loves this ever since I got this I love it so I'm telling you guys if you have the chance to get it please get it the color caramel and it stays on even if I sweat for the eyeshadow that I've been loving on my eyes I've been using a simple like pinkish satiny color on my lips and it is from Michido this three color um, eyeshadow trio that is sold anywhere in Watson's or SM wherever you might see Michido at so I don't know if they still have it actually but you know it's this is pretty old hopefully you guys can still see this around because I really like it it's such a subtle pigmented color it really is this two, I love this two. The brown one and the pink one. If I want like parang shaded eyes, but still giving you that color, this one works well. If I want like a natural parang parang pinkish blush eyes with satin effect, this one is really really nice. I'm gonna insert the picture for when I used it. I really really like it. You guys should try it out. Sometimes there are good hits that are around drugstore makeups, local drugstore makeups. So what I've been using around my crease when I use those colors is the NYX Matte Bronzer in 05 Deep Tan. So I also use this for my bronzer around my face. Para tipid si time, I use it around my crease. So that's why I've been using this around my crease a lot. And I like it because it's a nice tan color. Simple as that. Pigmented, easy to blend. It's thick, so I really like that. So since now we're talking about bronzers and under cheeks, let's now move on to my contour. Using the same brand, where are you? Wait lang. One eternity later. So another color that I like to use on my cheek to deepen it more, like around my face to contour properly, I even use this on, on my nose, is a more sort of ashy color. It's still quite tan. This is deep in 02 NYX bronzer, matte bronzer. Is it matte? It's, it's matte. So I like using this on the contours of my nose, contours of my nose, to contour my nose and to deepen my cheeks, as I said. So this one, I really like it. You guys should try it. I think it's around like 350. Especially if you have like a darker skin tone. This works as a really great bronzer for you guys. So the eyeliner that I've been using a lot is the Master Graphic by Eye Studio from Maybelline. And I like it because it helps me create a nice wing line because the tip is para pencil pencil a pencil pencil pen ng naka angle na siya. So you can make a straight line, thick line. You can make a 
thin line you can sharpen the tip with the tip <laughs> so it's re just really helpful what I don't like about this is it's not waterproof but when I feel like I'm not gonna spend a lot then or cry you know whatever then I use this I also use this for my clients because it's just easier to create wings for them but yeah I wish they made it waterproof that's the only problem but I really like it and I recommend you to try it so if you're also following me on Instagram then you will see the mascaras that I've been loving it's a benefit they're real combined with my Maybelline Colossal Chaotic Lash this two together is amazing. This lengthens the shit out of your lashes and really extends at the same time and it still gives you volume. And this one volumizes the crap out of your lashes. So if you haven't lengthened with volume already and then you add another volume, it's just completely amazing. You don't even have to use falsies. So this two together, this one you can buy around the Philippines. This one we don't have this yet. So if you're from America, buy this one if you're the type who likes clumpy lashes this is the one for you if you don't then probably skip that and just use this one so now that we're still in lashes I'm going to show you guys the lashes that I've been using a lot hold on for a second it is by this brand online called Fabio Lash packaging looks like this it it's really nice so it's very high quality it comes off like this and the exact one that I've been using is Wispies WSP so it's this one. I've been using this a lot. Like I will not throw it out, not unless I've used it 10 times. So I really like it. It's super thick and will give you nice wispy lashes. And it's good quality for only 80 or 90 pesos. So I really think you guys should check them out. They have more selections to choose from, but this was my favorite for the past actually several months not just the month of May it's this one if you can see it up close or if it's not um, focused it really looks nice if you have um, no eyeliner on or if you have thick eyeliner it will still show so if you want that wispy Kylie Jenner lashes this is the one for you okay, for the lips this one is my first favorite since I already have it on um, it is from Colourpop and it's in the color Kapow Another one would be more better, but I can't find it right now. I'm really sorry. I've been using it a lot, that's why. Kapow and more better is actually very similar. This one though is a little grayish. Kapow is more reddish. So I will look for it, but I will show you a picture. That is what it looks like and it's beautiful. Like I said, it doesn't look any different, but it's more redder. This one is more grayish. It's amazing and lasts all day. It's not mobile proof, not that I tried it, but I'm just saying that, you know, it's not mobile proof. <laughs> One coating is enough and that's all you need actually. So Colourpop liquid lipsticks are a massive plus. Next, my lip cream is from NYX and this is in Zurich. It is a very parang natural pink color. Parang, I would say if you want parang plump, pink lips that are still sort of natural looking this would be a nice color for your lips um, I like it but it's not as matte as Colourpop but I still love it but after a while it would dry off to be matte but it can take a while as far as liquid lipstick and it's like a soft matte cream lipstick you know the difference but it's just like moussey but I still love it like NYX soft matte creams are just one of my faves another one is actually in London that I love I will post again a picture this is what it looks like a lot of people appreciated that picture when I used it and I just love using it. I feel like that is a perfect nude color for me. I feel like it's just like Dolce K. I'm not sure because I don't have Dolce K. But I feel like that could be an alternative if you want a brownish nude color. It's amazing. Once again, I can't find it because it's probably inside one of my bags. So I'm really sorry. But you just have to trust me when I say that it's amazing. Okay, so now that we're still in the lip section, you know, I just want to mention or give a shout out to my friend. She owns this. It's called the Candy Cosmetics. And she gave me two of her tints. And I swear to you guys, you know I love tints. Like, I even had my lip tattoo because that's how much 
I just love a natural pink lip. Before I got my lip tattooed, I would always get um, tints. Like I would use it every single day. This is one of my top five lip tints, chicken lip tints, because this one is sort of like oil based. So when you apply it, it doesn't dry up right away. Parang you have to wait for it to dry maybe like a minute or two. And when it does, it stays on. I think it would stay on even after you eat and when I use it on my cheeks as well but I used it I think one afternoon and until the next morning I still had it so you know if you guys want to swim or you want to spend the night somewhere you want to wake up looking amazing buy chicken lip tints I will put her link down below so you can buy it from her but I will swatch it for you even if it's a tint I will swatch it for you guys this one is called candy pop so it is a very pink color, bright pink actually, so it already set actually. So this one naman is like a purpley color as that one is like a bright color. This one has more um, blue tones into it. This one, yeah. This one is called Blair. So you have a bright pink, you have a darker pink there. I suggest you buy both of them because that's what I always do. I actually compare this to the Face Shop Chicken Lip Tint. I prefer this one more. So kudos to you, Sai. This is what I wear when I'm at the gym and I sweat a lot. See, when I sweat a lot, it stays on. So that's why I'm recommending it to you if you guys gym or you just naturally sweat a lot. Then these are the makeups that are for you. Although it leaves a mark, so parang you can't say this is natural because there's a uh, there's evidence. So enough about the makeup. Let's now move on to my hair because I've been styling my hair a little bit. You know what I'm saying? When I style my hair or my client's hair, I've been using the Got to Be spray mousse. I really like this. I put this while my client's hair or my hair is wet. And then I dry it out in the blower and it gives me texture and will give me some cold when I style it later. And after I style my hair, I use the Got To Be Voluptuous Volume Hair Spray. This one though, if you use it, it will not go. That's it. Like before, because I would apply spray net and then brush it. But this one, girl, you cannot brush it because your head will come with it. So, if you don't want something to move, like around your hair, this is a product for you. It's a little expensive, but it's worth it. It will stay on forever. Joke lang, wala forever. But yeah, it will stay on. So, this too. And the color is amazing. Like, who said that pink and red doesn't work? So, for the last item of my favorites is this color. I got this in Watson's when I was about to have some gig makeup gigs and I wanted a bigger like fat curler and I saw this and it was three in one you can use it as a curler wand you can use it as a crimper I've used this I will show you a photo it's amazing so bring back the 90s guys with the crimper 2000s my goodness open it like that it's a straightener as for the straightening goes it's a normal you know but for the curler I really like it because if I just curl my hair like clip it and then wrap my um, hair around it and then I brush it off it gives me this nice waves that I can't really get with like a smaller curler so I really like this it's three in one it's really handy sometimes this is all I bring for a shoot or for a client like three thousand something I'm sorry if that's not accurate I don't really remember I was just like buy it girl I need it it's really worth a try let's see how long this lasts because usually colors break really easily um, actually I've noticed that in any of my heat tools that I bought from Swesh breaks really fast so watch out for that but this one let's see how it goes so far I really like it so that was it that was my main favorites I hope you guys like all of it um, if you have any questions regarding the products don't forget to just comment down below like this video and share it to everyone who you know would want to learn about the products I discussed about I do have my social media so you can add me up on my public Facebook page my Instagram my Twitter and my snapchat and all of the names will be down below in the description box so please check that out also guys if you like this contact lenses please message me on my instagram and public facebook page because 
I'm still selling them. Check that out. I hope you guys support me on that. And please don't forget to go to StyleCon Asia, which will be happening this June. I will post uh, the complete details down in the description box. So please, please check it out. Hope to see you guys there. I will be with other beauty gurus around the Philippines. So that's it. Bye. God bless. Mwah. This is going to be a makeup tutorial inspired by the lovely Nikki tutorial. Um, if you have been watching me for a long time, you will know that I always get told that I look like the Nikki tutorials of the Philippines. And you know what? I'm going to take it because I love her.